So here I've got a Belknap Hardware 6 inch block plane and I'm going to restore it in this video. Of course this has already been restored. I flattened the bottom as best I could going from 220 to 600 grit and I polished up all the pieces and pretty much just stripped it down and um, of course I have the original box here. Uh, it's kind of torn up but it's from Louisville, Kentucky and um, I believe this plane belonged to my great grandfather. It was manufactured in the 50s and it's part of the top of the line tools for the belt nap company which I guess doesn't exist anymore or at least you don't hear about them. Now I've got on some gloves and eye protection. I'm going to take all the pieces that were not painted black that are supposed to be metal and sharpen them over on this bench grinder. I'm going to use this wire wheel. Now I'm just going to polish it with some of this uh, metal polish. So now before I sharpen the blade, I'm just going to flatten it out on this piece of 600 grit. And I've sprayed Windex on it. I'm not really sure what that does, but I've seen it done a lot. So that's what I'm doing here. Now on the part of the blade that's not going to be referencing for sharpening, I'm just going to um, put steel wool on it to take down the uh, to make it shiny so when you're sharpening your blade you'll notice that when you get when you get in more vertical position it'll be harder to drag and you'll kind of hear it grind and then whenever you get in a lower position you'll also hear that same that same feeling and the, the same sound now there's a spot in between and you want to you want to start out and the vertical position when it's when it's kind of grinding and it makes that sound and you just want to go with that distance as short as possible and then rotate it down into the smooth position and then go even further down to like right when it touches to start grinding again then pull it off and then just do that over and over Well, after 600 grit, I think it's as sharp as I want it. I mean, here's four layers of Home Depot rece receipts So now I've got tension set and everything, but the blade is very far retracted up, so I'm not going to be grinding on that. And I'm just going to flatten out the bottom here, and uh, this is 400 grit. Alright, so here's the performance with the bottom, pretty flat as you can see here. I uh, had to start with 220 and uh, and then go up to 600 with it and um, polished all the pieces even though you know all this didn't really affect how it performed. Sharpened the blade which is already pretty sharp but I just sharpened it anyway and, um, and here it goes. I'll give some deeper cuts a shot.